All right, hello everyone. So it is October 18th today. I uh, just retrieved my doe that I shot two nights ago yesterday. Got her all processed up. Now Jasmine and I went out duck hunting this morning on a new pond that I haven't really been to before ever. Uh, had a ton of ducks fly by us, but unfortunately none of them came within range for a shot. Uh, so after a short bit, I decided to do some scouting for deer in an area that I wanted to check out, similar place to where we were duck hunting. And there's a whole bunch of acorns dropping in this spot, and it's like pretty isolated in terms of oak trees. Uh, there's no oak trees like anywhere else around this spot. There's a ton and ton of deer sign back there, and especially tons of fresh scrapes and rubs, and I mean tons of them. There's probably, I found a dozen of them well within 50 by 50 yard square area. So there's a lot of deer hanging out back here. And when I walked back there, I ended up spooking a deer. Not sure what it was, I just heard it bounding off, but it didn't blow at me or anything, so just a soft bump. So I returned Jasmine home. It's like 12.30 now, something like that. I'm heading out to that spot, see if I can get a deer. See if I can find some of these bucks that are hanging out out there making these scrapes. It's a bit of a walk to get there. I'm already like halfway there. So I'll see you guys out there. It's uh, hair after one o'clock now. Just made it up into the tree. Wind's blowing out of the north, which isn't completely ideal for this spot, which is why I'm like set in the back. Most of the deer sign that I was seeing is under a whole bunch of oak trees, up that way. Um, and this is like the back end before it reaches just thick swamp. Most of the trails seem like they come out from in front of me and then filter out into those oak trees there. Um, I have two different scrapes right beneath me right here. One of them is really, really fresh. Within the last day or two, there were no leaves on it this morning when I found it. Now there's only a couple, just from those short few hours that I wasn't here. I do have oak trees around me here too. I have one, two, probably half dozen to 10 of them right directly around me, scarlet oaks and northern red oaks, dropping acorns. So the deer should be coming back this way too. But I'm not, as I've said, this is the first time I've been back here, so I don't really know exactly what direction these deer come from. Hopefully it's not downwind of me, hopefully it's more across from me or uh, even directly behind me here. It'll be fine, just not to my right. I'm gonna sit here until maybe 15, 20 minutes until dark. Hopefully something shows up. I set my trail camera up down on that fresh scrape there, so see how this goes. Oh, and one other thing. This isn't too, too far from where I was the last day of the first week. That camera that I have down there is that same trail camera. I went to pick it up today after I scouted this spot because I wanted to move it here. I only really caught a couple does on that camera. That mock scrape that I made in front of it Buck never visited it, and the does just seemed to walk right over it like it wasn't even there, so that's that camera now.
Well, all right, pretty cool morning so far. It's uh, about 10.15 now. Saw that real nice eight point buck at around 8.30 this morning. Uh, unfortunately, he went down a different trail than the one I'm on and uh, he never came close enough for a shot. When I saw him out there, he was 45 yards out, but as you guys saw from the trail camera, there's been a lot of buck activity in this area. Most of it's been at night. There has been some daylight activity too, and as we saw today, there's definitely some buck activity during the day. But it all seems to be in the morning. Fortunately, my wind is not doing exactly what I thought it was supposed to. It was supposed to be going straight back that way. Uh, the buck was right out here, and the wind is kind of like blowing this way, so he might have gotten a slight whiff of me, and that's what steered him away, because for a little bit there it almost looked like he was turning to come this way, but he never did. Give a few grunt calls and a few bleats, but didn't seem to entice him to come over here. Oh well. I'm going to give it a little bit longer until about 11. Then I'm going to get down, investigate the trail that he came up on and see if there's a tree in between this trail and that one. That might be a better place to set up if I come out here again. Then I might explore a little bit more further back. See if there's an even better spot than these two, than this area right here. As I was packing up, I had my rangefinder away, put my gloves away, and I was about to start tying up my bow to drop it down. And I look over and there's a deer coming down the trail from my left with a little spike buck. But uh, as soon as he got to where my trail camera was, I guess he must have smelled me on it because he was stopping and stomping his foot. He was going to start running away, so I was like, have to take the shot now, but I don't know. I thought he was 25 yards, so that's what I put the pin on for him. And unfortunately, it seems like he was only 20 yards away because the arrow went right through the top of his fur, right above his shoulder blade. So I saw him run out, ran out that way, the way I came in. I saw him stand there for a minute before bounding off even more. So. Oh well, that sucks, but anyway, I'm going to continue on now, try to find that arrow. I'll be out again next week, I have to go to work for the next couple days, so I won't be able to get out. Guess I'll see you guys then.